It is the official opening of San Francisco Square here at Disney's California Adventure. Today we're gonna be trying all the foods. We're also gonna get myself a little sipper, a Baymax sipper, and Baymax is here. We're gonna do a lot of great stuff and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So why don't you join us today on this Magic Journeys. Here we go. The first thing I see walking over to San Francisco is the new San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, a beautiful, vibrant, and iconic piece that'll welcome you into the new land. Once inside, I'm sure we're gonna find some very tasty foods, and not only that, we might even meet Baymax. I can't believe we are finally walking on this bridge. It's finally complete, and we've been waiting for a long time. I know, it feels like forever, and I love the vibrant orange. Is it right? like a bright orange, I think? Yeah, I think so. It's so pretty. Definitely got a vibe. So when they first opened up Pacific Wharf, this used to be a bridge that simulated earthquakes, just so you would kind of get the idea of what it's like when uh, you experience maybe a little tiny tremor. I don't know if that feature was gone for a while because I didn't feel anything for a long time, and I don't know if it's still around. Maybe they removed that feature, maybe it's still on, I don't know. But all I know is I'm digging this new bridge. It looks great. The beams are so tall, aren't they? They are, they're huge, they're massive. <laughs> Look how tall these are, wow. So they just opened San Francisco's Maker's Market and it looks like it's popping out. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's today's fun. the first day of it opening, today's guys. Wow, that's a giant Baymax s'more. It's making me hungry. I, I want to just I dig into the marshmallow. <laughs> and they also have some really cool Baymax shirts here. Ooh. Right? It's so soft. I love shirts like this. So right across from Cocina Cucamonga, they just opened the San Francisco Makers Market, and inside there's so much Big Hero 6 merch. It was great walking around, seeing little Baymaxes and plush, and then they also have this big giant smushy s'more, and then they had all this other stuff like pans. It's really cool, so for all you Big Hero 6 fans, you're gonna love it in there. There's so much merch to look through, and Janelle had a great time scavenging through everything. <laughs> she loved it. So now that this place is open, Aunt Cass's Cafe has got brand new foods that just opened up for today. But first, we're gonna go to the Lucky's Fortune Cookery and grab some tasty food. Come on, because this is also new. So we mobile ordered our food. Now I'm just waiting for it. And you guys, let me tell you, I am so excited. They have like a ramen, beef BDR ramen. That sounds really good. But what I'm really most excited about is over at Aunt Cass Cafe, they have a Japanese style cheesecake. It's supposed to be fluffy and I don't know about you, but that sounds really, really good. The beef BDR ramen, that sounds so tasty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just can't wait. <laughs> so nice meeting all you guys. I don't know if you guys saw this, but this is the brand new Baymax zipper. I really want one. They're so cool. Went to the mobile order pickup and we grabbed our food. And just looking at Janelle's face, I knew we were in for a treat. You guys, I had to get myself the beef video ramen. Look at these noodles. Wow. They're so long. That's intense. And there's <laughs> also beauty on there too. There's some beauty on there right in the bottom and some egg. There it is. Whoa! <laughs> so the soup is gonna have ramen noodles, consomme, house-made birria, soft-boiled egg, onion, cilantro, and radish. You guys, this is like the best ramen I've had here. I think in the past these have some other ramens, but this one takes the cake. I love the long noodles, they're soft and chewy. I love the beefy broth, and overall, it's really tasty, and I would definitely get this again. It does have a kick to it, one out of five, five being really spicy. I would say maybe a three and a half, so watch out, you've been warned. But <laughs> It's got a kick. Wow, it is so, so good. Okay, so right here we have the yaki udon with karake, inspired crispy chicken right on top. Look at all the colors, it's very pretty, and look, that looks like a lot of texture. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna be delicious. This has an explosion of flavor. <laughs> Let me tell you, the chicken is delicious. I love how tender it is. Nice and crispy on the outside. And I do love the noodles. They kind of have like a sweetness to them. And the mushroom and bok choy, everything in this just works perfectly. And honestly, if you're gonna try something, I recommend the birria and I recommend this. It's fantastic. And they serve you so much. So for the price that it's at, I think it's a great value. Really good. Since it is a hot day, I had to get myself the lychee tea and it's black tea with lychee syrup and lychee coconut. Well, we're right in the bottom, do you see that? That looks so refreshing right now. It's a hot day, guys, if we didn't mention. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Okay, this is worth it. The tea itself is not too sweet, but the coconut jellies on the bottom add that sweetness to it. So I really enjoy this drink and it's refreshing on this hot day. So this is a 10 out of 10. I'm for sure gonna come back to Lucky's Fortune Cookery. Just to and get, get that. this, yeah. Did you see this on the bottom though? 
Right here, look, right there. Yoink! Oh, <laughs> That's refreshing. That's really good. <laughs> At the south end of San Francisco Square, right now you can meet Hero and Baymax. It's a really cool greet and meet that's very interactive and great for all you Big Hero 6 fans. So earlier I had the Karage Crispy Bowl and right now they have this. This is the Karage Crispy Chicken with some slaw and potato buns. It's very nice. So this is a Karage inspired crispy chicken. They don't say it's Karage chicken. They say it's an inspired dish. So that does look very good, doesn't it? Wow. And then right over here, you do have like some kind of chips. These are kind of like, what are these? Garlic like, chips. Garlic chips, right? But they're kind of like chicharron, right? They look like it, but it says garlic chips. Yeah, well, they look good. I think they're made out of wheat. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to try these out right now. I'm noticing a trend here. A lot of the foods that they have over at San Francisco is very spicy. Not very <laughs> crazy spicy, but spicy enough where you're like, wow. I feel that kick. <laughs> the chicken is fantastic. It's just like the karage bowl we had over there. It's nice and crispy, very tender. The only thing is if you're someone who doesn't really like mayonnaise, you get a lot of that mayonnaise flavor from the slaw, but overall it's very tasty. Here it is, they got it for you. It's very delicious. And you also have some garlic crisp, so I like it. And if you're someone who wants to get a little more spicy, you got that as well. <laughs> They got a lot for you. So I had to get myself the beef okay, bulgogi okay. burrito with some garlic crisps on the side. Let's take a first bite. Wow, this is a really good burrito. I really like the sweetness of the bulgogi. I like how perfectly cooked the rice is. I feel like there's more rice than beef, oh, from no. you can tell. <laughs> so if it was like a 50-50 like, ratio, that would have been perfect. Yeah, but, there's definitely more rice yeah. than meat. <laughs> You see that? Yeah. But that's my only complaint overall. I think it's a really good burrito and it's really amazing. So after walking around this heat, Janelle and I got a little thirsty and we thought we'd stop by the new Rita's Turbine Blenders and get this new little slush drink that they have. We need to try it now. I got us a drink. Oh, look, look at that this. Cute? Little Baymax right there. I know, I know it's just a sticker, but please, that is so cute. It's perfectly Gotta themed. Admit. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. This is the turbine twirler. Now this is cherry and there's lime and there's a bunch of different flavors that you can try, but we wanted to mix it up a little bit so we got two different flavors. It's kind of weird that they're the same color. <laughs> yeah. You think cherry would be like red and you know, lemonade. Well, this is the color of lemonade, but I thought it'd have two. But overall it's really nice and on the top you got some peach rings here. Now this is a non-alcoholic, but it is a slush. And on a hot day like today, I thought it'd be a perfect thing to get. <laughs> it's a very sweet drink and I think it's because of the cherry. I'm just getting <laughs> most of the cherry. It's a strong flavor. But yeah, you can get these here at the Rita's Turbine Blenders. And it's great because if you're in a heat situation like we are right now, perfect way to cool you down. It looks I did. so cute. Wow. I like that he was walking like this. He was like walking sideways because he couldn't fit through the door. It was so cute. I hope we get a chance to meet him today. If not, we can always come back next time, right? I heard the wait times are up to an hour, yeah. sometimes even three hours. One, one or three hours, I know. Yeah, so, but they have we'll like a see. rotation. They'll have Baymax. It's really cool, but I don't know if we'll I was have time. I you had both of them together. That would have been really epic. Yeah, that would have been really right? cool, but, but it's only Baymax or Hero. Yeah, hopefully next time we can come back and do it. He's just so cute. There's Baymax over there. Wow. Did you see that? <laughs> yes, I'm like, not even what? <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute. Give him the biggest hug ever. Well, cool to see him right here. You could give him a hug, pound the fist. You could do a lot with Baymax, and I can't wait to check him out one. Cast Cafe, here we come. This used to be the old Pacific Wharf Cafe. Now the Ant Cast Cafe. Okay, they have this Baymax sourdough bread. It's huge, but right now at the moment, they're sold out. Everybody wants them. Next time we're gonna have to get one and make some sourdough sandwiches with it because it looks so cool. Hope you guys don't mind we changed the scenery. We actually went over to Flo's VA because there's more tables here than there was over at San Francisco. But I got myself the chilled soba noodle salad. So this has scallions, cilantro, shrimp, and edamame, and it has like a like a ginger dressing on top. I really like how the salad holds that ginger dressing very well, but I also like the shrimp. It's nice and refreshing. I like the textures of the salad, but I kind of miss the old salad. 
Oh, no. Oh, the, chicken, the chicken salad or the other one. Should yeah, we well, all back? you never know. They might bring some stuff yes. back. They're still calibrating. It's new, you know? <laughs> it's a really great salad, and it's something I would definitely recommend to you. That's a very creamy clam chowder. Wow. So it does have a nice taste of miso. It's salty. It's got a little bit of sweetness, but it has a kick, and I like that. There's some bacon taste to it, and there's potatoes, green onions. I'm tasting a lot in this soup, and I really enjoy it. But I am a little sad because they got rid of the original clam chowder that was iconic here at uh, Pacific Wharf, which is now San Francisco Square. But man, I hope they bring that back because that was a staple. When they were showing World of yeah. Color, I'd get my clam chowder and just sit there. I still like this. It's a great tasting soup, but it's no original clam chowder right. at the Pacific <laughs> Wharf. Wow, it's still good though, but bring back clam chowder. Over at Aunt Cass, I had to give myself the shrimp katsu sandwich, and it comes with little garlic chippies that we had earlier. But here we go. I'm just so excited for this one. It's a really good sandwich. It didn't say what kind of sauce it was, but it looked kind of like a almost like a mayonnaise type sauce with a little bit of mustard and coleslaw. Adds a lot of flavor to the the shrimp katsu itself and the breading. I think I would prefer this one than the one we had earlier. Actually. Really? Yes. I like the cake that it has. It's like a little Cajun like kick, but it's not too spicy. It's like one out of five. Five being really spicy, I would say maybe like a one and a half or two. It's really good, and I'm happy I got this. <laughs> Over at Aunt Cass's Cafe, they have this beautiful beef and curry bowl. Okay, I pretty much found my favorite dish. This one here is phenomenal. It's got a very creamy curry. It's got a lemongrass taste, but it's also very earthy. It's a bold flavor, I'll tell you that. Also, it's got a bit of a kick, just like everything they have at San Francisco. I'd probably say from like a one to five, it's maybe a one, but this is phenomenal. If it's any of the soups you need to try here, this is the one. I really like this. And then of course you also have your bread, so you could dip it into the curry. It's phenomenal. You also got rice in there. You got some carrots, potatoes. It's gonna be very filling, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's good. So remember how I told you guys this thing is like a one, a five when it comes to spice? I was wrong, it's actually like a four. Wow, it's spicy. The more I keep eating it, the more it starts hitting my tongue. It's, it burns. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it burns, that's what happens. Oh my gosh, but it's still very delicious. <laughs> Japanese style cheesecake. Oh my goodness. I got this over at Aunt Cass Cafe. I watched YouTube videos on like Japanese like cakes over in Tokyo, Japan, and they're addicting. So the fact that I have something like that here, I know it's not the same. Well, maybe it is, I don't know yet. But something that I have here that I can get is just makes my whole day. So here we go. Look at Fluffy. Everyone's saying it's really good, so mm. nice little bite. I was expecting like a pound cake, but it's more like it's fluffier than that. Wow, did you dip it into the uh, no, what is that, but I'm about to right dirt? now. <laughs> oh my god, it's goodness. such a little pretty cake! It is, mm, it definitely tastes like cheesecake, very fun to eat. I'm not sharing with you. It's okay, I got my peach soju, you got your peach soju, and I also got this. Yes. The Baymax Zipper. I'm just happy they have a little fluffy cake like this. I watched all those YouTube videos. Now my like, you know, I can my get it day's here. made. <laughs> and over at the Ant Cass Cafe, we got this. This is the peach soju. This is an alcoholic drink. It does have soju in it, and it's supposed to taste like peach. Let's find out if that's really true. Well, okay. <laughs> That's gonna be a dangerous one. That is very nice. It's not overly sweet. It does taste like peach and it kind of has that bitter taste. Almost like the, the taste of, okay, if you ever take a bite of a peach and you taste the skin and it has that little bitter taste and then you kind of taste the peach, that's what I'm getting here. It's Ooh. very, very good and extremely refreshing. Yo. <laughs> At Gas Cafe. Wow. <laughs> Coming over to Cocina Cucamonga, there's a huge line. All you have to do is grab a corn, and that's pretty much it. And there's no mobile order, so we're kind of waiting here. It's probably gonna be like a 40 minute wait, but that's okay. We do it for you guys. They got some cool music over here, it makes me want to dance. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It says karaoke on top. I wonder if they're ever gonna bring that, like here, karaoke. I don't think so, but no, that would be so much fun. <laughs> in case you're wondering, <laughs> in case you're wondering, we're still here in line. It's been about 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. 
Very We've long. only moved a little from here to here. <laughs> <laughs> Really cool. I was looking at some of the cast members, and they have hats with sports teams yes. on them. There's three sports teams here. Mm -hmm. That's, That's so, so cool. Uh, Samurai, San Francisco. The university. I don't know another one, but that's really cool. They're paying this much attention to detail. I didn't notice it until I was looking at their hats. I'm like, oh wait, all their hats are different. I know, right? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> so over at Cocina Cucamonga, they have a San Francisco street style corn. Look at this, and it's filled with these guys. I love these chicharrones. <laughs> yes, chicharrones. <laughs> Mm. So this has a toragashi mayonnaise, queso fresco, bonito flakes, and a spiced sweet chicharrones right on the side. This is a really good street corn, you guys. I was kind of iffy because when I first got the plate, I smelled the bonito flakes and it was kind of fishy, not gonna lie. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to try this fishy corn, I don't know. But when I took that bite, not fishy at all. I was kind of surprised. It actually allowed a little bit of more flavor to the corn. I like it. The corn is like sweet. Listen, this is definitely a must for Cucina Cucamonga. And I might add, they still have the beef birria tacos, so that makes me really happy. <laughs> and I love how they have these little chicharrones on the side. Mmm. It's so good. This is the me melon cocktail. Yeah. Look at that right over here. And you can get this at Cucina Cucamonga. I know you probably the camera can't tell right now, but there's like, it's green. Yeah, and there's a cherry inside. And a cherry. <laughs> Now this drink is going to have tequila, melon liqueur, fresh lemon juice, or jat, and it's topped with a pretty little cherry. Wow, I can't wait to drink this. It's so melony. <laughs> is that even a word, melony? It tastes a lot like melon, but like candy melon. Like, yeah. It's weird, right? Yeah, when I first had a sip of it, you know what it reminded me of? Mm. Remember, remember the melona um, popsicles? Oh, it tastes like melona popsicles. Yeah. I get those at Costco all the time. They haven't had them at Costco in a, in a while. And then there's a cherry in there too. I don't really taste the tequila though. It's definitely in there. It's a it's a sweet and tart drink. But if you're someone who loves melon, you're probably gonna like this. And I'm glad we got it because since the cerveceria is closed, this will do. <laughs> so right here we have the Baymax Macuron. Look at that. So cute. Right? Wow. And inside <laughs> you're gonna have a hazelnut spread. Let's try this out. Oh my gosh. It's really crumbly. You don't it want it to like crumbly. fall apart. Here we go. Wow. It's like Nutella. Mm. It is very yummy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great way to end tonight. We got a great treat. And we wanted to save this one for last. But man, we tried so many foods. A lot of delicious foods. They nailed it. They really did. And I'm excited that this land is getting some love because Pacific Wharf for a while was just Pacific Wharf. That was DCA 1.0. Now that we have 2.0, they never touched the land. Now it's getting some love and it's San Francisco Square. That's great. We've come a long way, but that's very exciting. <laughs> Boy, this smells so good in <laughs> Caradelli's. Makes you crave some chocolate. Doesn't it smell good in here? It smells really good. It's so tempting to grab like six of those chocolates. So here inside of Garadelli's, they changed a few things. Now they actually had it some uh, lanterns over on top of San Francisco. And if you ever watch some of these murals, they come to life. Like they'll have little earthquakes happen. But you need to come and check it out. All right, we ended up getting a little Baymax sipper. We didn't get it for us. We got it for one of you guys out there. We're doing a little giveaway. So pretty much in order for you to enter the giveaway, you just have to let us know what your favorite Pixar film is. That's pretty much it. And by doing that, you'll be entered. But in order to qualify, you must be subscribed. So make sure you subscribe, leave a like in the video, and that's it. Pretty much we'll be choosing a winner. Pin it on YouTube right on the top of the comments. We just want to say this is for you as a little thank you to all of you guys. Also, we love how you. do you say no to Baymax? Yeah, a little me. Baymax. It's a sipper. <laughs> it's so cool. But yeah. Man, we did so much today. We tried a lot of food. We got to get a little Baymax sipper. We got to walk on the bridge and we got to bring you guys all along. And we also got to meet so many of you guys here. Thank you for yes. saying hello to us. 
It really makes I us think happy. That was the best hi highlight of my day, is meeting all of you. Just brightening up my spirits. So thank you for yeah, saying hello. It's always fun. Yes. And we just want to say we love you guys. Thank you for watching our videos, and we hope we helped you guys out with this ultimate foodie guide. If you like this video, leave a like. It really helps our video. And if you haven't subscribed, what then you what? Doing? It's time to subscribe, guys. <laughs> we want to say we love you guys. We're gonna see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye.